From a surprise announcement to an uncertain future, this is the real reason Cobra Kai is ending after season six. Well, my young grasshoppers, it's officially the end of Cobra Kai. After five years of surprisingly quality storytelling, the beloved sequel series to The Karate Kid will come to a close. Since 2018, Cobra Kai has been exploring the future adventures of Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence. The series has been widely lauded for its writing, performances, action sequences, humor, character development, as well as its faithfulness to the original source material. Many critics will point to the show as a shining example of a quality legacy sequel as they have come to be known. I mean, it's becoming more and more common over the years, isn't it? Seeing all the nostalgic series from the past return to the screen. In all honesty, it has become a real chore to sit through most of them, but not with Cobra Kai. The show manages to continue the legacy and spirit of the original Karate Kid movies whilst being totally willing to poke fun at its source material. Honestly, it's kind of brilliant. The show really has a little something for everyone, even if you haven't seen the original movies. Cobra Kai has been called an incredibly subversive deconstruction of the tropes it helped to establish in the 80s. But I suppose all good things have to come to an end, right? But why? The series originally aired on YouTube Red, of all places, the precursor to YouTube Premium, and an attempt to compete with streaming services. Cobra Kai was made as the flagship series for the platform, meant to hopefully encourage people to sign up for a subscription. Despite the fact that the series received an overwhelmingly positive reaction, it wasn't enough to keep YouTube Red alive for very long. Thankfully, the quality of the show was recognized and the series was picked up by Netflix from the third season onwards. Cobra Kai has maintained its critical acclaim for the entirety of its run. In fact, the third series was actually nominated for Outstanding Comedy Series at the 73rd Primetime Emmy Awards. Not bad for a dinky little web series, right? Well, it's obviously a lot more than that, so with all this success and acclaim, why the heck is season 6 officially the last? Well, that's what we are here to dig into. Initially, fans believed that the series ending had something to do with the Writers Guild of America strike. While the strike has officially caused the production of the final season to be delayed, the choice to make season 6 the last was made before then. In 2023, Netflix announced that Cobra Kai would be ending, but made it clear that it was going to be one of the biggest series ever. A fan tweeted at John Hurwitz, one of the series creators, to ask how they felt when they heard the news that the show wouldn't be continuing. It was here that it was revealed that the choice didn't actually come from Netflix at all. Nope, it turns out it was a creative decision made by the team. Hurwitz responded to the fan by saying, Netflix didn't tell us it was the last season, we told them it was the last season. We've always wanted to end Cobra Kai on our own terms, and we are grateful we have the opportunity to do so. But that doesn't mean we're finished with the Miyagi-verse. We love this world. Hashtag Cobra Kai. Wow, that's a really bold move for a creator to take, but honestly, it's one I can really respect. There are definitely plenty of shows out there that overstay their welcome, so it's honestly kind of refreshing that the team behind Cobra Kai are able to make the call to go out on a high note. I mean, there was already an argument to be made that the season 5 finale could have served as a great end for the series. If it wasn't for that pesky Sekai Taikai tease and John Kreese's escape from prison, the show could have wrapped then and there. Season 5 had already really finished a lot of the show's major storylines. Johnny and Daniel were finally able to bury the hatchet after literally decades of fighting. Even their students have managed to put the past behind them. Miguel and Robbie are two of the closest friends in the show, having come a long way from their first season fight. Sam and Tori have also managed to find common ground, and most of the main cast are now training at the same dojo. In a lot of ways though, seeing Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do get the chance to face off at the global Sekai Taikai karate competition is kind of the perfect way to end the series. One last showdown. This is definitely a good time to start wrapping the show up for good because if we are being honest, there are definitely some things that are starting to get repetitive. Daniel and Johnny are constantly agreeing to work together before ending up at each other's throats so it will be nice to finally see them put their rivalry to bed for good. 
The series has been full of characters who have flipped back and forth from antagonist to protagonist. I mean, it's clearly a trope that the writers are making fun of. But with so much toing and froing of characters' allegiances, it really makes you wonder if the writers are planning on ending things between Eagle Fang and Miyagi Do on good terms. Seeing as Johnny and Daniel have come to represent two opposing philosophies in the series, the writers may decide that their conflict is eternal. They really might not be able to settle anything once and for all. On the other hand, they could also try and achieve a sort of synthesis between the two karate schools. I mean, that is the only way that I think the two dojos can actually coexist long term. Season 6 will also be the last chapter for Cobra Kai to bring in the next Karate Kid's Julie Pierce, who is part of the Miyagi-verse. Julie is the last legacy character to return, and fans have long speculated that she might have already been teased. Since the character's introduction, many fans have been working with the theory that Tori is actually Julie's daughter, which would be a great way to bring Julie back into the series again. This final series is expected to be an exciting conclusion to the show, giving the writers their last opportunity to close out the story the way they want. John Kreese and the Sekai Taikai will likely be the major focus of the series. Hopefully, seeing as the show started with Miguel, it will end with him too. Perhaps he will be crowned a world champion. Or maybe he will find a way to merge the Miyagi and Fang dojos to move forward. That would definitely represent a true end to the long-running rivalry. A balance in the forces of karate, if you will. Regardless, if the showrunners feel that it is time to end the series, then that has to be the right call. In hindsight, the stakes can't really get much higher than a global competition on the line, and the writers definitely set this up in the last season, so it seems that the Sekai Taikai has been built up to for a little while. The comment about an extended Miyagi-verse is also really exciting for many fans, as it's clear that the crew are going to continue to work on other projects in the universe. While we don't have any specifics yet about what to expect for the next series, it has been hinted that there are multiple projects in the works. In an open letter to their fans, Hurwitz and his fellow creators, Josh Hield and Hayden Schlossberg, said that they would love to continue telling Karate Kid stories. They also took the opportunity to thank their many fans who had stuck with the series over the years. Whilst there was definitely a lot of sadness in their decision, they wanted to remind fans that they were doing what they felt was best for the series and its legacy. It's clear that the series holds a special place in the hearts of the creative team. Sony is apparently working on a new Karate Kid movie that is apparently unrelated to Cobra Kai. Hopefully they will learn from the success of Cobra Kai and will continue to see a successful legacy heading into the future. So there you have it, from a surprise announcement to an uncertain future, that's the real reason Cobra Kai is ending after season six.